What's up guys? Welcome to episode 4 of Trilogy Talk. This is going to be Trilogy with Trilogy FF. This is my long form content, basically podcast episode that I do every week. It either, it's supposed to come out on Thursdays, but uh, editing is hard and these are very long. And sometimes I try to get as much news as I can for you guys. And it doesn't come out till Fridays, but you should definitely keep an eye out for this on Thursday. Um, we're going to be talking about a lot of different things today. Um, welcome. If you want to subs- subscribe, support the channel, comment down below, like it, share it. We really appreciate that. Also, I don't do sponsorships or I don't do ads and stuff like that. If you want to help the channel out even more, you can go ahead and donate on my Patreon. I would really appreciate that. And also, I have the videos on this channel without ads and stuff like that uploaded on Patreon. So you should be able to watch those without any ads and stuff like that. That said, let's go ahead and jump into Trilogy Talk episode I four. To talk briefly about my Patreon. Um, it's still really blooming. I literally have one Patreon so far. Shout out Aaliyah, first Patreon. And far, for as far as benefits, if you really want to support the channel, you can do whatever you would like. Anything helps. But as far as benefits go, if you wanted to, if you subscribe to the Patreon, you do get my videos ad free. So there's no ads as far as that goes if you don't have like YouTube premium and stuff like that. On top of that, at the beginning of every one of my videos, there'll also be like a shout out area. A pers- of course, a personal shout out in the first video that I make after you subscribe. So those are some of the benefits. If you want to support a small channel that's blowing up, putting out information, stuff that you want to hear, help me do more videos, be more consistent. It really does help. And then that really would be appreciated. Hey, that's pretty much it. But yeah, shout out Aaliyah because she is my very first Patreon. Talk about the second Uncharted trailer, which is based off of the hit video game series. I'm not really a big fan of the games. Uh, I've played a couple of them, but I've never finished any of them. I just don't really see the hype, honestly. But this movie definitely looks good. It stars Tom Holland. I'm really hoping Holland will be able to become a star in his own right, as far as that goes, because, I mean, besides Spider-Man, what hit movies does he have? Chaos Walking could have been something, him and Daisy Ridley. That could have been something. I mean, it was a fire, very popular book series, apparently. Never read those books. The movie was okay. I could definitely see the flaws in it, but I thought it was a little bit enjoyable. But apparently that's probably not going to get a sequel. What else has he done? Cherry. No one talks about Cherry. I mean, Tom Holland's been in a few movies, but none of them have been blockbusters, minus Spider-Man. So as an actor, I feel like he hasn't really been able to blossom and Uncharted, although it has its own established franchise, if he as the lead can bring in numbers in this different franchise from Spider-Man and the MCU, I feel like that would really help him catapult up there with better actors. Whereas right now, we just know him as Spider-Man, which a lot of actors get stuck in that. We know Tobey Maguire as Spider-Man. We know Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. But I could actually name quite a few other Andrew Garfield roles, excluding Spider-Man, and in Tobey Maguire's case, I can only name one, honestly. I know him in The um, the Great Gatsby, which is a great movie. Um, but besides that, it, this movie, I know Tom Holland in other movies, but with time, I feel like I'm not going to remember a lot of those movies just because they aren't blockbusters. But yeah, I'm going to play the trailer for you guys. This is going to be the second trailer. And I think it looks pretty good. You're a little old for prom, aren't you? Everything in here. Why the map? Everything treasure that's never been found for me as someone who hasn't seen or played much of the video games i don't think i played the first one at all this will probably be a pretty good experience for me because i'm not going to know too much about the lore and the characters and the world so i think i'll find this much more enjoyable i won't be able to nitpick like people who have played the games will be able to do so it looks like it's more like an international movie like a national treasure type thing Okay, that oh, looks that looked killed. like oh, national treasure. Oh, it was 50-50, so I made a guess. Clearly. One thing I do enjoy about British actors is how good their American accents are. Like you, you watch an American pretend to be British, and it's not always going to be super great. But like British actors, they can do American accents perfectly fine. Like if you didn't know it, I mean, you probably couldn't even tell that Tom Holland was British because he speaks American perfectly fine. It, February 18th is really not too far. It's right around the corner. I'm really looking forward to this, especially this airport scene, this airplane scene where he's falling out of the airplane and he gets back up and then he just gets knocked back down with a, a freaking car. I think that's crazy. I mean, this movie looks like a lot of fun. A lot of 
hijinks. It looks like a type of heist adventure type movie. It has good actors in it as far as that goes. Mark Warboard, Antonio Banderas, Tom Holland. What are they doing? What is this scene going on with these flying ships on helicopters? Obviously, the, the ships are worth a lot of money that they're fighting and destroying on. But, I mean, hey. Oh. Shoot, bro. I think this movie looks really good. I know a lot of people aren't going to agree. They even got Sully with the mustache in the end of the trailer. It does not look good on Mark Wahlberg. It doesn't look good, but hey, at least they put it on there. This movie looks really good. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Are you looking forward to the Uncharted movie? Or you think it's going to be a failure like a lot of the Tom Holland movies? I'm not a hater. I'm just recognizing a trend as far as that goes.